for a film that started out really quite slowly, I actually grew to love Accidental Engagement. This is also known as Accidentally Engaged. I'm not 100% sure which title they settle in the end, but either way, I really loved it. So if you watch it and find that it's quite slow to begin with, stick with it. This was released in 2016, directed by Lydia Clouston and written by Elizabeth Snowley and Jake Helgren. And this is all about our protagonist, Clarissa. And Clarissa is played by Lexi Giovanoli. And she is in LA trying to make it as an actor. She's got some, you know, extra roles and bit parts and one-liners. But it's not, you know, it's not living the dream. And she soon finds herself embroiled in this, what could have been a scandal had she not agreed to do this. She agrees to be the fake fiancé of Chaz Hunter. Chaz, played by Brant Doherty, is a former child actor uh, or teen heartthrob who is now obviously a, a very big star, very successful actor. He has been caught kissing a mysterious woman, but the papers could only see the papers. It's not 1990, Amy. The press could only see the back of this girl's head and they can't find out her real identity. So Clarissa agrees to pretend to be that person, to shield the real person's identity. Unfortunately, this is not a quick fix. And most of the film centres around um, the bachelor and bachelorette parties and the wedding of one of Clarissa's friends. So it's back in her hometown. She takes Chaz with her as part of the deal because obviously she wants to look like she's living her best life when she goes back home. And the entire film is, first of all, wondering whether or not their secret will let slip or will if they'll get away with this. And obviously, if there's going to be any romance in it for Clarissa or for Chaz. I will say it's very predictable. For the most part, and I will I will explain that in a second, but for the most part, it's very predictable. You can guess quite early on what's going to happen, but that's fine because it's not meant to be a thrilling film full of twists and turns. It's a safe watch where you can expect what you think you can expect. I will say, though, there is a potential second love interest uh, played by... I can't say it. I can't say it. Graham, but the American pronunciation, Graham, which I never understand. As a Brit, it's Graham and always will be. Um, But, you know, there's there's another potential love interest. I didn't know what path that would take. And I was really pleasantly surprised with how they handled that because it wasn't as predictable as I thought. So that aspect I really enjoyed and I think they did a really good job of not being 100% predictable, just to keep us on our toes, just enough to keep things exciting. I think the mix of locations um, and the settings were really good to keep things a little bit fresh. Everything's not just set in the same place. Clarissa as a character I really liked. I completely understand what she did or why she did what she did. Chaz took me a little bit of time to warm to, but once I did, I liked him quite a lot. I I can't complain about this film. Yes, it started off quite slowly. I will definitely admit that. I did think that some of the acting wasn't that great to begin with. But I don't know if that's just because I was in a bit of a bad mood because it was going so slowly and I was just thinking really negatively about the film. But once the narrative picked up, I could see no flaws. It's not a groundbreaker. It's not going to win all of the awards. I don't know if it won any awards. Maybe it did. But I certainly enjoyed it. It's warm, it's fuzzy, it's easy to watch. It will keep you on your toes a little bit, just enough to keep you interested. Accidental engagement, or accidentally engaged, was definitely worth powering through with. I ultimately really enjoyed it.